we'll uh, do this press conference in two sections. So the first part will be to reflect on today's game, and then we'll do a second section to preview our game against Manchester. Look how nice it is, isn't it? It's like an actual yeah, theatre. It's good. Look at this place. Well, is... Yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate I have to start with that because I thought we were absolutely excellent. Uh, but we'll go back to that in a second. Um, I'm a big fan of VR. I don't know where that one lives today because I think VR's over, you know, ref the, the moment when the referee and the lines person have got amazing views. They've clearly made a decision. All their experience and years of doing it goes out the window because they'll find contact. And they're going to find contact. They find contact in virtually everything. The amount of contact in, in the game we all know, or for me, not everyone is alarming. Um, anyway, the lack of contact, sorry, you know, the, the favourite penalty when he stood on his toe. And, you know, I don't know whether he wrote, you stand on your toe in a queue to get on the tube or whatever, you don't fall over. Uh, but anyway, apparently that's a penalty nowadays, so we all know about that. Um, so my question is more about when, when, where's the line between trusting the on-field moment and the referee's instinct and what they're doing? And part of the VR for me, um, and I, many people probably won't agree because they'll say there was contact. But if I'm the, the person in the VR room, I'm looking at the referee's position as well. I'm looking at the lines person's position. What view have they got? Because they're actually there live and it's live action. It was perfect today, in my opinion. The referee's view from the reverse side, the lines person's view from the front side, it's the perfect moment for them to be allowed to referee the game. Do you have a view on at the end of the first half? Banana was getting his shirt pulled in the penalty area by Kulisevsky. Did you have a chance to see that? Again? Yeah, they said they were pulling each other's shirts. So like, I'm not going to go into everything. You, you know, I'm a big fan of VR, but it can't, that's my point, it can't be refereeing every moment. Um, but in a game where so many soft things now in football anyway, but, you know, every touch is nearly a foul, or if it's not nearly a foul, it is a foul. And then that moment is, that's not enough for me. That's not enough. You know, that, that's where you've got to go, no, no, that's not enough contact um, to, to make a a mature professional footballer who's incredible, the balance of these guys now, they're lean, they're fit, you know, and yet seemingly the minimal contact makes you go on the floor. So that's where I think the game's got to be really careful. I've said it for years um, and it's still got to be careful, I think. On the performance, in recent years we've seen so many Evans sides that 2 0 down for 20 minutes away from home would have capitulated. This side did the exact opposite. I thought the reaction to going through that was phenomenal. It's a really strong display. You must. I didn't, the, the pleasing thing for me, I mean, it's, it looks like a reaction, but I thought we started really well. Um, we give away two soft goals from our point of view. You know, generally, lately, we've been super strong defensively, and um, I thought we'd started really well. I thought we created chances. We looked to threat on more and more at the beginning on the counter, which can happen here, of course. Our tactical idea was good when we won the ball back. You know, forcing them back was good. And then you, you can't believe it. Well, you, look, you have to believe it. You know, you turn all down. But I'm scratching my head at that point. I'm going, how on earth are we turning all down here? But they took their chances. And from then on in, I thought we were absolutely outstanding. You know, and I mean, I'm pushing, what, I don't know, 11 months now. And out of all the performances we've had, that, that's arguably one of the most I'm, I'm proud of. You know, I think the players were absolutely superb. You know, the, everything about it, the defensive response, apart from the, the moments I mentioned, the defensive responsibility, some fantastic defending in the second half when we, we're going for it. The, the change in play, the way we played, asking questions, mixing our play, the value in the players' performances physically. I mean, you know, that's it, bizarrely, you come away with nothing. And yet that's as good as a performance as I, I'm trying to get the players to expect from themselves, not just from me. And I, I, think, that was, I think that was an outstanding performance. It must be a huge of Andrew Gomez. I mean, first minutes this season, competitively, he's put the performance like that in quick fashion. Yep, uh, very pleased for him. He's, he's had a real tough time of it. I made it clear when he came back to us about in pre-season, not wanting him to be part of us and what we do. Um, he made it clear he wants to try and do that. Then his really frustrating period, I also wanted him to complete his, his kind of rehab with 90 minutes. He agreed to do that, which he did. Um, and putting him on today, I've got to be honest, it was a, it was a bit too early, but obviously it was stretched. Um, you know, we're, we're looking, going, right, which way should we go about this? And I thought it was excellent. I thought the way adapted adapted to the game after the first seven or eight minutes, I thought was excellent. And his, his adaptability within the role as well. You know, he played higher up, then he dropped in, um, and some of his some of his passing was was excellent today. But there were so many today. I've got to be honest. You could start going through the whole team today. I thought there was so the level of performance today was absolutely was absolutely excellent in, in my opinion. Thank you. Sure. Can I ask? Sure. You know, sure. this, I'll just go there. <laughs> Can you just talk us through your reading of the very, very last action when Dungeon hits the bar? It looked like it might have gone in or maybe not. Just your emotions around that. Well, I presume uh, the referee's watch would buzz 
if it physically, if the ball went in, regardless of it, where you know whether it's a goal or not, I presume that would happen. So therefore, I can only presume it didn't go in. It looked like on the replay that it might have gone in, but I presume the, the watch would have went. Uh, he flags for offside. I presume equally. I'm not sure uh, for Beto. I think, but then you'd argue: is he, you know, is it interfering? Is it not interfering? Um, and then it's a definite corner, and we don't even get the corner, which is a bit surprising. Well, it wasn't that surprising. I suppose I was like, no, that is everyone in the stadium can see it's deflected off for a corner, and we don't get a corner. So, anyways, that's the way it goes. We just hope we're receiving it. It balances up. Sean, I just wanted to ask: you, you, the goal that gets ruled out, did you think? You'd get something out of the game if, if that, if that's. Well, you've got to think it's got to have an effect because of how well we were playing and the feeling in the stadium. I think the the, the Tottenham fans <laughs> were probably thinking, you know, these are playing really well. Couldn't really, they couldn't get their usual grip of the game. We forced turnovers many, many times today, which was good from our point of view. Um, you know, I think I think the the feeling in the stadium would have been for us in the sense, not uh, not for us. You know what I mean? It gets nervous. You know, when we're playing so strongly. Um, but you never know. Like, I mean, you can't. I've got no crystal ball, but goals change games. They don't just change the scoreline. They change the whole feel of a game. Um, and I, was, I would have been thinking that we had very uh, strong chance at that stage of going on at least getting something from the game.